set a challenge and come back for the answers. When it comes to coaching, it's crucial not to spoon feed children with all of the answers. At the Football Fun Factory, we try to empower the children to be creative, think outside the box and develop their problem solving skills within our sessions. An example of when I used it uh, in a recent session is where I pulled a little lad called Felix to one side. The match then continued, but I got down to his level and set him a challenge. And instead of providing him with immediate answers, I encouraged him to think for himself, to make decisions based on what he believed was the right thing to do in the game at the right time. When Felix then attempted to do something during the match, I provided him with additional feedback or post thought provoking questions. This coaching style not only fosters creativity and independence, but also nurtures the development of critical thinking skills in young children. Setting challenges and allowing children to find their own solutions helps them become better decision makers, helps them improve their adaptability and problem solving. These are valuable skills that extend far beyond the football pitch and have a positive impact on their lives in various different aspects. This approach also promotes a growth mindset where children understand that mistakes are an essential part of the learning process. They become more resilient, willing to take risks and open to new ideas. As coaches, our role is not to dictate every move, but to guide, support and facilitate the learning journey. By setting challenges and encouraging children like Felix to discover their own solutions, we create an environment that fosters creativity independent thinking and a deep love for the game of football. So next time you are coaching, consider setting challenges for your children, for encouraging them to think for themselves, take risks and learn from their own actions and mistakes. You will be amazed at the growth and development they achieve both on and off the pitch.